A good evening, this is Nerdist to Human, and welcome back to our Roxolani female only campaign. And you join us at Ravenna, where our last time left us on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Realistically, this is the last, well, significantly good units that the Western Empire have here in Italy. Last time we took out Rome, and really, yeah, Ravenna is their last chance to keep me out of Italy. I don't see any big armies anywhere close. And okay, we do have some tough units to take out here today. Some Palatina, some Scolai Palatina, Plumbatari, and there are some first cohorts in the city as well. Not our best army either, it's more of a forward scouting force, this to be honest, but hopefully it'll be able to do the job. I have a little bit of a review of where the map is in a few minutes time this is an interesting one intriguing yeah we'll have a little look around the map after this because obviously we've got to start off with the battle here so let's swing on into battle and let's see what we can do it's a fairly forested battlefield actually and uh, while i do want to take on that main army um, there is the reinforcement force from the city herself over here in this corner we are we're not going to properly trap them in the corner but we are going to make sure we meet them as they arrive with some arrows so okay missiles ahoy these are though first cohort so we are gonna struggle to take them out with this particular set of units we could do with the amazonian infantry to shoot them down really they've got some pretty darn nice missile damage on them but uh okay we're gonna have to see what we can do with this force the main army is over there in the background so we'll have to see about that you are not shooting yet. Please get into shooting positions. I'd very much like to get the shots away. Do I want flaming arrows? I possibly do, actually, just to make sure we get as much morale damage as we can because I really want to make sure that what we're doing here is... Okay, yeah, just trying to get them to break because we're not going to chunk them down too easily. The chariots, they might be able to do something if we're lucky. So let's just pull back a tiny bit and see if they're willing to come to us. The reinforcements will, or the main army, will come to us in time if we're not careful about this. So I want to take these out quickly, but kind of carefully. As I get closer, you can see that a lot of these arrows are just bouncing off them. They have lost a couple men. Um, not necessarily ideal. But the flaming arrows should start to get in range in a moment or two. And it's after we get a couple of volleys of those where I want the chariots to do their thing. Both units come in this direction right now. We'll just speed this up for the moment, just to kind of bring this slightly more into position for me. Let's just grab this force and get them to just to run forward, I think, into that position. They're gonna react to that, that's okay. Just gives me time to shoot them, actually, as they change around. I don't think we're hitting this unit because I think I've got everyone specifically aiming for them. Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay. These guys, 108, 107, 106, they're frightened by chariots, flaming missiles are starting to come in as well. Screeching women start screeching, I don't know what the range on the screeching women is, but Paula hopefully can do some lovely, lovely work. At the back there, they're not coming in too quickly. Oh yeah, this is looking much better now. They've lost quite a lot. I'm going to start telling, yeah, a couple of you to start sending flaming missiles to the rear. Because I really want to see... Yeah, I want these guys taken out. Change your targets. Get the chariots just to charge. You shoot them. But these chariots just need to see if we can break this unit here. You might be able to do it. Don't know. Chariots, 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 chariots. Just get yourself straight through. Free, straight through, straight through, straight through. It's always when the chariots stand still. That's when they break. Every time they ever break, that's it. Good. We managed to smash up that unit. That's perfect. Get these chariots into this flanking position. All missiles shooting in at those guys. The chariots are being hunted down at this point. Um, you know what, chariots? If we can get on top of this guy, do for a moment. We might just be able to break him as the other unit is fleeing. Do just instead, though, just charge through to that one, actually. And we'll see if we can pick him up on the way. Running through. Come on. Bit more running. Ah, <laughs> just shooting down our own unit here. We can't do much about it. They just get stuck sometimes, chariots. That's how they are. Right, we're going to focus on them. We need to turn ourselves around pretty much now, actually. So, yeah, that's fine. Turn yourselves around this moment. And chariots into there. You just see if you can 
push them over the line as well. They're steady right now, but for how long, I don't know. I really don't. You pull in, pull out, and get the chariots to hopefully just finish off this unit. The general's now in there by accident, which is excellent. They're broken. Good, 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 good. Right, we're in the position we want them. Missiles can hopefully just all go off for a moment. And, okay, tidy this up. Let's get these horse archers around to that flank. Chariots, who actually survived, I'm surprised, can get themselves over to there. We can reset for the next part of the battle. Down goes the Committee Census first cohort general. Excellent stuff. And at this point, all missiles get shooting. Just realised we're not shooting because obviously I was trying to be sensible. So, Foderati, you guys can just skirmish if they want to go and take you on. That's fine by me. They're going to run on in with a Palatina. Okay, we'll get the spears just to intercept. And Paulers can do some work as well. But to be honest, the chariots can probably just get themselves around into this, actually. Just hold them out. Spears, get forward. Some missiles coming in. Flaming shots. Spears ahoy. And the chariots. Now, this isn't a particularly ideal matchup for any of these units, really. But hopefully morale will carry the day. That seems to be the position we're generally in. Okay. Spears doing a nice job. Very nice work. You get into the committed tenses. Get the chariots out of there before they all flee. Yeah, the chariots are really effective at breaking things, but they basically just get stuck and break themselves. It's a bit of a shame. So we'll just get them as far out of this uh, main fray as possible. Get them back into position. That'll be absolutely fine. We don't need those spears to be over there. You get into the Foderati instead. I'm kind of happy with that. You two can just deal with that cab together, actually. Just charge them down. Oh, yeah. The foot archers have won the battle against those guys. That's a bit embarrassing for them. Okay. For, uh, get yourselves back in line, ladies. Back in line. They're just running across the death trap. Oh, the chariots are being cleared off by the Scully Palatina. It's a close run thing, but you know what? It's fine. I did expect a fair few casualties in this battle. Um, wow. Did he route them both? Would have thought you could have managed that, lads or oh, lasses, but there we are. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let's just uh, grab our cavalry over here and we'll finish off some of this. We've at least split them up, which is kind of what I want to be. We have lost a good pile of our infantry here. Get some of the Paulies into position. And yeah, we've got the missiles uh, to cover us here. Oh, they, they broke. Brilliant work. Okay. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, get yourselves into position and actually we'll just send the cavalry in to go and deal with them. We'll take some chunky damage now, but it's fine. I think we can get this over the line. These cavalry are charging right through the front. I was hoping to get a bit more of an angle on that, actually. So, yeah, get yourselves around here a little bit more. You can hit them in that flank if you're able to. We'll get these cavalry around the side. That'll be absolutely fine. Right, missiles. Get on top of that Plumbatari. You need to deal with them as well. They're kind of always... In oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, that's not how you're supposed to be doing this, is it? No, it's not. Now they're broken because you weren't in the right position for the darn flanking manoeuvre. Okay, well, first battle of the day. It's actually the first battle for a couple of weeks, actually, because I've been away. And today... We need to just finish off what was always going to be a slightly awkward affair, to be honest. But um, probably could have taken a few more moments to make sure this went well. But hey, hey we'll just plough on through this. There we are. We're going to go and relieve these guys first. Get all of you to shoot at those committed tenses because that's the more immediate danger. And we need some more squishy women back here. They have regrouped. Get them back into the fray. Basically, anything that survives this battle, I'm kind of happy with that situation. I'm going to send need any of you to turn back around here. You know, we're just going to pin this guy in position, just keep them busy. Archers can keep shooting them down when the infantry are in position. Cavalry over here. There are some more units back there. Some Palatina have regrouped. So, uh, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll send someone to go and deal with them. This is a silly battle. Yeah, they've got their Scotty Palatina over there, as well as those Foderati we still need to deal with. So bear that in mind, Thomas. But... Probably just time to regroup our line for that cavalry at the end then, because they could smash up our arches if we're not careful. 
because we've got ourselves in position the Palatino have decided not to finish their death charge into us which is probably very good news indeed this Palatino are now being shot down by our missiles so yeah we'll just uh, swing them into position Federati are knackered by the looks of that so yeah get on top of them I think will be absolutely fine General has done his job over there. Excellent work. That is the battle. <laughs> it's always, always going to end with uh, some bad casualties because there's some good units here. But uh, after some good early moves, we just got a little bit uh, out of position stretched. But it's all well and good. I don't mind at this stage of the campaign getting a bit messy because it's easy enough to retrain units. It's often a bit more fun doing it this way. Okay, uh, maybe all missiles off at this point, ladies. Uh, I think it's just time for us to hunt down whoever's remain. It's pretty much just the cavalry at this stage anyway. It's a clear victory officially. Uh, some superior troops have been taken out by superior numbers. We'll happily take that. We lost some chariots in that, but uh, we'll see what recovers back on the campaign map. Obviously a little bit of other stuff going on at the end turn, but Ravenna is ours. I think we'll just massacre the population because it seems like the most sensible thing to do. Richest faction is us. Yes, their eyes glitter with envy. Beautiful. And okay, there are lots of assassins around right now. Do I have my assassin ready? He's around. Yes, we can at least take out one of their Steves. Thank you very much. So, down he goes. I guess these aren't Steves because they're not the everyman. But uh, there we are. Belniari. Okay, sir. Saber. Good when outnumbered pagan eh, not the worst start to be honest we'll take it sir okay so we have him uh, we have revolt suppressed oh that didn't last very long did it it went rebel so they just i don't even know quite how that happened they must have just killed the general or something maybe it's right in the general died i'm not entirely sure because they should rebel back to the empire okay strange stuff but uh, we'll take it public order 35 oh that's lovely let's just i was gonna say let's make sure that uh, goes that way but okay fine death and death for uh, our spies or one death for the spies so any army routes that's perfect ravenna is ours we have the spy to defend us so we'll just let uh, that deal with itself over time we probably can do a tiny bit of merging, but I won't worry about it too much. We'll get some Amazonian infantry for the time being. And in Rome, we'll probably get, yeah, another one of those. Actually, we've got two there. So let's get let's get some Headhunter infantry. That will be magnificent, but there's a little bit more retraining to do in this force. So we'll grab some of that to be sorted. Right, reinforcements over to Rome, which is very welcome indeed. Still some boats floating around causing us trouble. Boats do tend to float. That is a thing that happens, Thomas. And as for Ravenna, it can have a pub. Have a pub. That will be absolutely grand. As for the rest of the map, and a quick reminder where we're at. Oh yeah, we had the Berbers just floating around outside Tarentum. That's bigger than before? Was it just battered? And maybe it was always that many units, but just it was battered. Let's get some carriage ballista here because they are hilarious. There are some more boats just need sinking. Yeah, you see that they've got all sorts of stuff around here that I need to drown. Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I couldn't actually do that with what I've got there. Let's send a few extra reinforcements in, see if we can just get them sunk. Of course, they lead over in this direction where I can't quite reach them. And it's probably now too much for these boats to take on. Oh, well, we'll just leave them to go and do that. Berbers seem to be flipping over with Carthage every other turn so let's not worry about that too much but yeah we'll just get some boats over in Caroly. that makes sense to me and really yeah the franks are fairly strong they just seem to have bashed away all of the uh all the hordes that are in this part of the world so we need not really worry about them vinda decorum still under roman control i'm quite happy really as i said before to go and grab medulanum and leave it at that as for the rest of our campaign what do you want to do well of course, we did the Sarmatians, who currently were neutral. And I'm kind of surprised that they've kept it neutral this long. I'm kind of surprised they haven't had all this revolt against them. They've done a good job to go and take this. Now, while it's not necessarily the best territory in the world, at a principle, we need to go get our capital back. So maybe what we want to do 
is get some of this to rebel. Yeah, maybe we could send a spy army ahead of time. That might be a fun thing. So yeah, we're going to grab our spies and see if we can flip a few of their cities. Now our boats are actually, actually here ready. Yes, I think I was organising my army before. Okay, so yeah, we've got our boats. We've got ourselves kind of largely ready. But I wouldn't mind, yeah, trying to flip their cities just to make them rebel. That could be good fun. So yeah, we're a few turns away from starting that campaign because we just want to get a tiny bit more intel, I would suggest. Tom said that was probably a waste of a town in terms of uh, building up, uh, just building spies. But one more spy over here. Not the worst idea in the world. So yeah, we'll just grab a few more of those. We do have a boat over here just to kind of get us along. So, I mean, I think the idea of this boat actually was to skip things along, but that's fine. We'll continue to send our spies up in this direction just to make sure we know exactly what we're dealing with. But the AI normally knows when you're about to attack like this. These spies, to be honest, we already know what's going on there. We can just send one more in this sort of a direction. That'd be absolutely fine. Yeah, they, they, to be honest, they look like they have most of their armies up in the north. We want to go take Roxolani. That's our capital, of course, our original capital. They will go and smash up the rest of this empire pretty soon. For now, we're just going to get some intel. We'll see where that leaves us. Uh, we'll get ourselves a bazaar as well. And I think time to end our turn. On the new turn, I can't help but notice that uh, Vesuvia seems to be puffing and the Berber army seems to be a lot smaller. Has it actually been killed by the eruption? That would be quite hilarious if so. I'm not honestly sure. Uh, we do have some troops, though, who can be moving up in this direction, as well as the our assassin who's moving on to kill the next land at Ravenna. Now, Medellinum's the last bit of this part of the world that we really want to worry about taking. We're going to need a, a tiny bit of time just to get this army just retrained and ready to go, but pretty much ready to send them off next turn, I think, out of Rome. We'll see how happy they are. Um, we haven't converted from the... Yeah, the Abbey and the Basilica yet. So we'll see. We can probably flip that around fairly quickly, but um, I think we'll, yeah, we'll vacate that soon enough. But uh, yeah, I'm more interested in moving on to Medellinum than I am about converting Christianity. I'd rather just settle that down. Now, as for everything else around here, it's got a load of spies lined up, to be honest, because I just want to see if I can flip as many of these cities as I possibly can. Now, I can't remember quite what the army over here was supposed to be doing. I think I was sending it west, but I'm probably finding with the Romans that I'm happy enough just dealing with that as and when it comes. What I probably want to do instead then is send, yeah, the boat over here to come and join in with some of this nonsense. And yeah, you get over here. As for this army, this is going to get on the boat. I wouldn't say it's necessarily perfect. I do have this chap here, he's the young lad. Maybe we'll send him in a second wave. You're Lily Livid. You are a little bit on the older side, and I can't think... Well, yeah, you're the Christian. We're going to need to convert that area, so... Yeah, okay, just like the pagan ways. Don't like you, sir. Maybe you can go and die in battle. We'll send you for now, but maybe you die, to be honest. You're not really the man I want to be taking my homeland back. And we do need to make sure we've got enough troops over here to hold on. And obviously we're going to send out our pagans forward in time. I do have a third thing over here. Maybe I just want to send uh, at least a couple boats together to go and do that. We were getting sunk by some rebels in the end turn there. Where are they? Over there somewhere. We'll just go and hunt them down. So that'll be absolutely fine. We'll just send as many boats as we can over here. We'll send a second wave over to deal with them. As for this part of the world, Roxolani, they don't know what's about to hit them today. So, not a lot in there. Or Taxata, or Atazata, whatever we're supposed to be pronouncing it as. There we go, into there. Uh, Cetaphon, into there. We do have a diplomat in that part of the world as well. The uh, Hatra doesn't actually have someone in it right now. But you know what? We have more spies kind of ready to go. So I'm going to send you there and send you to continue up towards Fraspa. 
and assuming that is the same city it is the same city from Rome 2 to war that's absolutely grand now as for Antioch this army over here I actually haven't completely organized this one um, but we are going to just make sure we've got together whatever we need for this so four of those is perfect to start off with actually we, I think we had ourselves some better paulers over here yeah these are the, re, the retrained ones from over there that'll be fine we'll get a fourth one of those in absolutely perfect now of course we do already have archers it'd be nice to have some other axe infantry in this army but we don't seem to have any around here so axes on horse is what i guess we're going for and some mission cab a couple of those actually we'll get a third one of those horses that will be magnificent oh yeah this army is going to come together very nicely indeed grab us some horse archers how are we doing two spaces left oh yeah with the carriage ballista then that might be absolutely perfect so antioch 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 we probably need you just to get some hit hunter infantry that'll be nice you just move towards the border uh, we won't send the marching over the border just yet, but we'll yeah have a think about what we're doing there. You know, I'll just send in forces to Demartha just to kind of keep it busy. We won't send them up to this one just yet, but we do want to send something in that direction. Maybe we should just send them. I'll go wait for the reinforcements because I think we honestly can't hold on to that settlement unless we do it that way. So there we are, a couple boats on their way. And yeah, we've got a little bit more over here as well. This is just a single boat, though. We need to be a little bit wary about that. So, what do we have? We have ourselves a marvelous force here. We have good old Hatilda, who I think I was sending over here for just this job. So, grab our boat, organize the force. And yeah, we have one spear, two spears. So, a couple spears, not the worst thing in the world grab i would say yep there's some headhunter infantry there's a second unit there so it looks like i actually did think something through before in my past which is excellent a couple of those a couple of our proper archers oh this is nice coming together we'll send one more archer into the unit so there we are that is it's going to be a bit more cav heavy this army but that's fine by me we are heading into yeah that kind of territory did i send an archer in there no I didn't that's fine lots and lots of archers horse archers ahoy and I should have some ballistas there we go so sending them I'm just sending them to my port honestly just sending them to my port no need to panic anyone okay do send the spy just to go and help along there but more and more of those coming and you know what chariots yeah I think we'll be building up a nice chariot army in this part of the world We'll organize that in time don't worry there'll be a chariot ballista force if we ever need it we might mix it around though with the uh the other army the uh what do you call it the the amazonian chariots yeah we'll mix them up with those okay so the march towards our uh neighbors of assassinates is underway as for the rest of their empire they're looking strongest in this part of the world it's actually 35 percent in campus roxolani Get a bit of training by wandering into there that'll make you a little bit better you might have a better chance of actually yes getting some eyes on that city when we get the opportunity we do need to be careful about a counter attack down south because they have some units there so Thessalonica, athena we might just need you to get a couple extra units just to make sure we are safe okay that'll be fine they shouldn't be getting through any boats through here they have no port on the mediterranean just a little bit in the black sea i won't be blockading them but i will just keep an eye if they have any boats as for the romans yeah as discussed we just need to make sure we're pretty safe from these assassins so we'll keep them there for the time being we've still got spies in our cities which is the main thing we need virgin spears just getting their retrain over here that's perfect and yeah, I think in a turn or two we'll have the army ready to go for Mediolanum. Looks like they might be restocking their forces. You know, I'm happy enough just uh, holding them off for the time being. You get into the Decorum. Into the Decorum even. Yeah, this guy is not great at all. As for the Sassanids then, I think it is time for us to take them on attack. Neutral faction. 
and the starting point will indeed be over here at Cotis, which is damaged. I don't know if it's damaged enough or we could walk in, but the game isn't allowing me. Roxolani had declared ward on the Sassanids. Okay, so that's our first poke across the border. I will, though, continue to make sure we're getting ballistas just built up over there. Keep an eye on that over time. So grab a couple units from there. We can also make it over to Hatcher this turn. No gates open, sadly. So we can get that much up to the walls. That should be absolutely fine. Over here, we're just a few turns behind. By the way, in case you're wondering about the great adventures of Buaka, who, of course, walked all the way across the map at one point, um, he, uh, he, he he's over here. Um, he's got some interesting <laughs> traits these days, faction leader. Uh, he despises the Roman ways, but uh, more importantly, he clearly despises the Sassanids enough because they have the homeland. So... Uh, he and uh, his wife, our good old actual leader, is going to run over to Antioch and is going to come join the fun. Got some female archers with him because that was basically the only useful unit that was in Alexandria. So we're going to see if at 60 he can make it, 61, sorry, if he can make it all the way over there to join the party. But we'll see about that. So we'll just send you up north. Do you actually take this over? No, they still haven't got Trivisolani. Absolute nut jobs, that bunch of them. Okay, so they're getting killed in the missions over here. It is rioting, but uh, okay, the riots are also killing our men, which is a bit of a shame. I am though just lining up spies in this part of the world, so um, a couple of assassins as well, actually. Let's go in, well, won't take him out, but we'll send an assassin over in that part of the world as well. Just keep sending the spies out. We'll see if we can flip these cities in time. But yes, we'll grab our boats. We've got another nice young lad come through. We had this guy. Uh, who's the other young lad? Philippos. He just trusts outsiders. But um, he's got fluent speaker. He's got pagan skilled cavalry commander. So, okay, not completely useless. We're going to get more of our ballista chariots, I think. Should just make, keep an eye on these forces now that we've declared that war. We might just need to defend this border more than we currently think. But there's a big part of battles about to go forward. Oh, yes, I've also got my army over here from Rome. We do the Berbers hanging out. Um, the family members decide to reappear. Some reinforcements just coming over to Rome. Hopefully they won't decide to attack, but they might. But hey-ho, it's not the end of the world. If they do, we're pretty much at the total war stage of the game at this stage. We do have allies. Let's just remember we're not complete evil baddies, but uh, we're not particularly great at this point. To be fair, the Roxolani um, have a land taken, a homeland taken by the Sassanids, so it's only fair that we go and take that back. And on that note, actually, we do, of course, have these ships moving in that direction as well. So there's a couple full stacks moving in this part of the world. In some ways, would I rather just all this territory just be, like, rebel around me? It could be more interesting, but... Uh, yeah, there are the Slavs around, actually. I need to keep an eye on them. Where are the Slavs? We'll have a look if we can find them. I probably need to send some more spies out into this part of the world. So, yeah, while Thessalonica is just getting itself set up with a few more units, most likely we do need some spies coming out of there as well. So we'll continue to send our spies. Let's use a mass spy network at this point. We can afford as many as we want. And random rebel unit. We have many rebels in this game. Go give him a quick poke. Just take care of Steve. Steve the Mountain Man is dead. Those Mountain Men weren't as tough as those other ones we dealt with a little while back. Um, but in general, we'll be fine. Petra's got a long line of things being built. It's about the only place where we can build anything. Our money's doing all right, though. Right, we'll end our turn, and we'll head on to Hatra and Cotes. Time to head on into Cotes. And, of course, what we do have ourselves, a big old army and plenty of siege equipment for this battle. There is the small matter of the Sassanid generals, the uh, Hymnari immortals, who are absolutely ridiculous. He is an eagle taker, that's interesting to know. Street Governor, he dislikes the Christian cultists, and so he should. But um, these guys are absolutely obscene, aren't they? They've got themselves 16, 16 missile attack, which is annoying enough. 15 on the melee, 35 defense. I mean, this guy's got five experiences, not helping things, but 35 defense. Defense here 
20 armor, 15 defense skill. No shield is the only notable thing, but two hit points as well. Good morale, good stamina. They are absolutely obscene and okay. The list of chariots. This might just be one of our key weapons to take down the Sassanid generals because the rest of them might well struggle. I mean, the axes will probably be half decent, but yeah, we don't have our headhunter cavalry with us, so that's a bit of a shame, actually. Oh, well, this chariots, ahoy, let's take them down. Well, interestingly, there is a pretty darn damaged bit of wall, but it's not quite damaged enough. That's a shame. I don't think our ballista chariots are actually allowed to shoot down the walls as ballistas. They probably are allowed, to, are allowed to shoot the gates. Doesn't actually say I can. That's interesting. Okay, well, nonetheless, we're going to get this forward here, and hopefully we'll do a bit of damage to these javelin men. No need to worry if we don't straighten her up and get it heading towards the wall. So, yeah, a little bit of damage going on to these. We'll just hopefully distract from the towers who will hopefully be hitting the javelinmen. Indeed, there's the odd missile that seems to be hitting the javelinmen at this point. We're going to lose a few of our troops, obviously, as we stroll on towards the city. The ram was burnt down as ever it would. That's a shame. And it does seem like the Kurdish javelinmen are... Not bothering to stand near the tower as we arrive because we are actually landing a few hits on them. Probably not enough for it to be really worth our while. But hey ho, there we are. I kind of forgot we're not playing Medieval 2 and so my ladders aren't running. That's going to cause them a few more hits. But because we have quite a lot of this archery infantry, it does mean once we get up here, we can obviously take the walls and really start shooting down these guys. But those javelins aren't on the walls is very good indeed. They can be pretty darn powerful from there. So I think we will... Um, Take the walls and we'll shoot these guys down. Turns out there's another bit of wall that's been smashed up as well, which suits me. Let's just uh, try and get on control of these walls and towers. It's just this very last bit up here now. And yeah, they're not going to be in a very good position for all of this. Get ourselves in position on the wall just to shoot them down. And yeah, everyone just uh, start shooting in, start shooting in. That's all of these towers under our control. They're going to get themselves slaughtered. I do like the colours though. They're looking quite magnificent. Nice big mountain in the distance for them. That's great to see. These ladies can just stop, take a great shot down at them. They realise they're in trouble now. Oh, the Kurdish javelin men. Do some decent defence skill on them, but aside from that, they're uh, pretty darn basic lads. And uh, yeah, they're going to get themselves utterly slaughtered as they try and run away here these units are yeah there are some axes here but the version for archers will do some good damage Ooh, the immortals are up there well 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 we want to get some of our other units forward then and i think if we can do that we'll be able to maybe shoot them from up here for some reason the kurdish javelin men are coming back for a second go not really sure why they are indeed routing immediately Got foot archers over here, which don't quite have a shot at the general right now, but it will if people want to run away down that little street. These are pretty darn narrow streets, so what we might do is go and get our spears over in this position. Why are you getting shot, by the way? Is it their own? Oh, that's their uh, that's the Clibinaris. They're shooting us down. That's a bit of a shame. I take some damage, but yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to start getting our Amazonians up here and start shooting them down. Get the spears into position. I really should have given them the, uh, like a shield wall or a siltrum or something like that to help us out. But hey ho, it's absolutely fine. Get our two axes then in behind. That will be marvelous. Get a general over here. Maybe get him off skirmish and shoot him. That's fine by me. If these wanna be a bit quick about getting up the tower, that'd be great because you're just getting shot. They're doing some annoying damage here. 39. Are we going to do anything with our missiles? I'm not sure we will, actually. You know what? Bring in ballistas. Bring in the ballistas and get them right here immediately. We're going to try these girls out on uh, this general over here. It's going to be absolutely magnificent. And uh, we might get some other arrows in in the meantime. Ballistas have arrived, and I think it's time just to move those spears out of the way. Get the headhunter infantry over into that position. And I think they're not shooting at us right now. So wheel them around, ladies, and let's shoot those ballistas over at the general. Because so far we've done no damage. But yes, we are with the ballista shots. Going to finally start doing something here. You can see we're just shooting them down here. Missiles have done 
absolutely naff all, by the way. All the missiles have done nothing. But ballista shots, oh yeah, that's going to start doing work very, very quickly indeed. So, yeah, shoot them down, girls. Shoot them down. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Get them out of there, get them out of there, get them out of there. All infantry attack, all infantry attack. Okay, they are always oh, routing. Enemy army is surprising, the surprising Go. stuff. Go. Okay, no, 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 no. Get them back there. Get them back there. Chariots. Okay, slight panic, but actually they ran away, which is a bit of a surprise. Okay, we're going to get the chariots back over there. That is absolutely fine. I don't know if he realised there was all the infantry hiding around that corner, actually. So that's good. All right, get our chariots back in position. They can keep doing their lovely, lovely shots. That's fine. We are now under attack, though, which is unfortunate because they're going to rip us apart because, yeah, our ballistas are really, really good at dying, it turns out. But yeah, we'll just chase them down with these girls here. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, shoot them down, shoot them down. Any hit is a kill, pretty much. What did I, I say that? It kind of looked like a couple of them didn't die there, but it might have just missed and not clipped them properly. Oh, yes. It's such a strong unit, but we are shredding them. And down goes the general. And with the general gone, then it's just down to some desert archers to finish the job. I've just sent my horse archers onto the plaza here. They seem to be moving around, which seems like a stupid decision on their part. We're just going to yeah, get these into the rear at this point. That will be magnificent. The rest of them should be running a little bit quicker than that. Thank you very much. Okay, they're finally actually taking some shots, but it's probably a little bit late for that, to be honest. Oh, a couple of horses just getting caught there. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's a nice distraction, though, to be honest. I'll quite happily take the little clip there. And the horse archers can probably just finish this off very nicely. We'll put them on the skirmish. It's a very weird space here with the Christian Shrine. I can't actually place units here. It's... Yeah, I don't know if my archers are going to be able to get around this. You know, classic barbarian invasion uh, town designs are really poorly thought through and quite buggy on several occasions. So yeah, these guys are getting shot down here. I'll see the ballista chariots, even in the cities, can manage to kill the generals quite nicely. So that's good to see for future. Out in the field, we might find they're a little bit more vulnerable, but also, you know, effective as well. There we are. Apparently there is a small path around the edgeside. And that is victory and our first scalp into the Armenian territory. Victory and glory burn it to the ground. And with that, Kotes is um, very unhappy. Probably shouldn't be Christian, to be honest. So we'll just burn that immediately. And to be honest, I think we might just go for pie on this occasion. Um, and we'll convert it in a couple turns, I suppose. So you know what? We will get ourselves... Do we have ourselves cavalry? No, we don't. That's a bit of a shame. We'll build that kind of stuff. We'll get a bit of basic retraining done. And you know what? Do we want the female archers? Get some headhunter infantry. That'll be nice just to make sure we've got a couple good units of infantry. Right, onto on Taxeter uh, once we got that settled down. But next up is Hatcher, which should be similar. We actually did the ballistas as well. There is a Darius over here. Zora Ashtur Mystic. Minus one from unrest. Very nice to have. Desert Scout is always a great trait. Chance that he's not attacking doesn't really matter. So, okay. No need to worry about this guy. He's a bit of a religious lad, but nothing too much in the battle. Let's go. Fate has decreed that we must fight today. Victory hangs in the balance. But fight like the wolves you are. And that victory will be ours. By night time, our sword arms will ache from overuse. I must say there haven't been too many interesting speeches during this campaign. I don't think I've actually put any into the videos so far. And in part, that's because they're basically two liners and uh, pretty much over immediately. Quite often, though, they do mention uh, fight like the men you are. And this time it's fight like the wolves you are, which is basically calling our ladies a bunch of dogs. Basically a pack of bitches, that's a bit rude, isn't it? However, fair enough for the people of this city to say that because we're about to burn them down. So apparently the um, description women can't sap, by the way. That's interesting because I did send them over here. But we will send some over to go and grab these walls in a moment. So yeah, we'll run on in. 
smash up the walls. It looks like they're all on the plaza anyway, so it'll be a few moments until we just clear our path to the centre of the city. But basically, they are gifting us this one. So we'll take a few losses as we climb up this tower here. Come on, get up to the tower. But once we've done that, it should probably be simple enough. Well, it should be said that when we've got this massive temple over here, it makes an awful lot more sense for us to um, yeah, have this space blocked out. But obviously, yeah, when it's only a small building, it doesn't really need to be, does it? Oh, well, so we've got ourselves near the plaza. General is going to shoot us down very quickly. You can see here, when we're actually the target. We struggle very, very much here with all of their missiles. So let's just get ourselves a little bit further forward here because we're really getting ourselves slaughtered. Yeah. So yeah, you really need to like make sure you, with this chariot ballista, if they have missiles like this, we need to be distracting them first. So we're out to uh, break, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll do a little bit of damage. We can take them down with some other units this time. That would be more interesting, I think, to mix it up a little bit. We can see how badly, dam how badly they can damage them. But uh, yeah, it's a bit problematic. We're about to get javelin anyway, so that's them all gone. Um, Headhunting Maidens, we're going to see how well they do. It's a bit of a bit of an experiment, really, just to see how effective some of these units can be. So a good example, Ballista Chariots rip them apart, but if they are getting shots, yeah, they're going to collapse very, very easy. So, keep an eye Immortals then, against the Headhunting Maidens. We do have the kind of attack power to hopefully chunk them down. Bit shady here, isn't it? Uh, how many of them left? There are 12 at the start. Oh yeah, they are falling, though. And they won't have lost hit points because they're just dead from the ballista shots. So, oh, very nice. Very nice work. Okay. Headhunting Maidens can totally take out these Kubinari Immortals. Down goes a very pious lad who, of course, did at the very least build a massive temple. So Headhunting Maidens, they really do have a mixed record, don't they? Sometimes they really just get absolutely plowed to the ground, particularly when they take on infantry. But send them in against Cav and they absolutely destroy them. And obviously in this particular case, they just take on some skirmishes, so they'll be fine. They'll just smack them with an axe, and it will soon be over for all of these Steves. I what the uh, assassin equivalent of Steve is, but, you know, they're all soon enough going to join the Steves. So, this is another city that's simple enough to fall to us. We'll just swing ourselves back around and finish the chunking affair. Very nice. So good to see the Headhunter Maidens can be this effective. Love it. All right. Well, so the Ballistas yeah, got a few kills there, but uh, quite frankly, not worth it. It seems like that unit was completely killed, which is very much a sad thing. However, Hatra does fall to us. We'll burn it to the ground. And with that, well, OK, I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to convert this. I need to get myself some more generals and uh, send some people over the borders. Now, Okay, neighboring regions. We have quite a few um, yeah, for Sassanids at this point. So we just need to bear that in mind. This needs to be an altogether thing. So we've got a few turns for those lands over there. We do have our... Oh, yeah. Over in the Heartlands. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. That might have to be next time, but getting close to all of that. And over here, by the way, we're standing on the bridge. Just waiting to see if they want to be tempted in. If not, we'll head on in next turn so nothing too much to go and do over here in Ravenna actually seems quite relaxed they're actually pagan of course Rome itself actually it's very very relaxed right now I'm just gonna burn it down and hope for the best to be honest I uh, hope that we can do this conversion right now it'll be fine probably probably be absolutely fine uh, this guy's probably Christian actually which isn't going to be helping us but uh, as a Berber he very much likely is Christian. Okay, well, a few more spies here and there, just wandering around. Uh, nothing coming from them in this part of the world right now. So we'll end our turn and we'll see what happens. It is a great day for we have landed back in the homeland. Oh, isn't that just magnificent? Get it under siege, my good sir. Free our people okay but well we do have a second force of course who can land over here so you my good sir can't quite take him on but it will just uh make sure we enforce our strength a little bit here as we land excellent stuff that is very very exciting indeed Catace is of course being converted now this might just take a few more turns 20 percent flip all right so 
Yeah, a couple turns to do that, but in the meantime, we can at least get ourselves a few more units. Actually, do they have themselves generals? No, we can't get the generals recruited over there. Over in Hatcher, though, Bayoka has at least arrived. That will help. Ooh, mercenary elephants. Mercenary elephants. Now, okay, we don't normally hire men, but we do hire elephants, and elephants come in female form. So we're hiring female elephants, damn it. Now, somebody in the comments did suggest making a female, uh, making a, an elephant unit for this campaign, which quite why I didn't think of earlier. I don't know. I guess I went to Ballista Chariots first in my thoughts. But over in this part of the world, so there are elephants, and maybe, maybe just maybe, by uh, walking in this part of the world, we've learnt about elephants. Perhaps we'll find that uh, the Roxolani ladies can actually come up with their own version of this unit we'll see about that in time won't we okay very nice stuff now the romans haven't taken the bait over here a bit of a shame because they've brought up another force see if they will take that bit of bait instead and indeed if they just go for the city because they could do could be an interesting one um fine we'll get ourselves general over here in rome i think we could probably just do have a bit of pagan converting and i think rome would be actually be fine with the conversion i have decided to demolish some of that stuff only thing that's annoying me slightly are these boats there are still a few boat issues when it comes to rome i've kind of got a bit of lax of it the last few turns because quite frankly i don't care about the boats but this fleet does need to go and deal with some pirates and be causing me quite a lot of fuss over in the east a few rebels who just need to be poked. That's absolutely fine. Send this handsome lad out to uh, go and earn his spurs. There you are. Go and slaughter. There we go. This is why you're allowed in the family. You can uh, deal with those guys and we can head back in. So, all right. We'll be moving into Setupon very, very soon. At the moment, though, I'm just seeing if the Romans want to bite over here because this is pretty much all we need just to tie up this part of the world. Have a go at killing. Very nice. Just trying to get people trained up right now, to be honest. No one too important to kill. I did already try and kill this guy. The old guy I had, the old assassin I had over here, got himself killed. Bit of a shame. Do need the spy with him, Thomas. That is really important, as we know. Burmers continue to move in this direction. Hopefully, they just take on some of those Romans. It'd be quite amusing to me. Seems like they're not bothering to attack me anymore, though. I will continually just cause them problems with my spies. I'm quite happy to, yeah, just continually lower their public order and hopefully cause them more and more annoyance. I'm quite pleased with that. We were going to try and see if we could find the slabs because I'd quite like to know where they are, who they're dealing with. As far as I'm aware, they haven't declared any wars just yet. I'm just kind of wandering around. I haven't seen them. They should be somewhere up here. I think, were they up here when we talk of the Fog of War? Anyway, we, uh, we've we got some lovely work to do with the Roxolani old capital that we want to take back. So we'll end our turn and uh, see if anyone wants to bite. And with the new turn, we've just managed to sneak our forces all the way up to set a bomb, which is excellent because actually the gates are open. Look at that. It's writing quite badly right now, isn't it? Okay, that's probably our fault because of all of those uh, lovely, lovely, uh, what you call it, spies. Okay, so we'll grab, just plonk down a watchtower. It doesn't need to be a particularly ideal placement. As for all of this, though, Hatra, 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 how are you looking in terms of your conversion? It's going to be very hard to deal with this conversion, isn't it? I think it's going to be incredibly painful. So what do we want to do with Hatra in that case, then? I think we can probably send most of our force out of Antioch, send them to go and uh, look after it while we send the army onwards. It's fine if it just all goes slightly awry over there. Uh, as for Cotase, I think Cotase is actually fairly chill, actually. Um, oh, I'm supposed to move them around. You know what? It's fine. We'll, we'll just accept that issue. Um, it is what it is. We will take those with us. We will leave one virgin spear. How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah, they're happy enough. All right, they're not happy with that situation. I'm just going to keep going. Keep going on to our taxa. They actually do have quite a few troops there, so I need to be a tiny bit careful. But I'm happy enough moving that forward. 
As for, yeah, these troops, they are just getting themselves together at this point. They're looking fun. And no movement in this part of the world, which is good news because I can't do an awful lot about it. So I will, though, when it set a boats to come and... Oh, I had another troop unit, didn't I? Yes, I wanted to go in and uh, give these guys a turn or two just to retrain. But I did want to send some more troops up to the north here. Whereby, hopefully, yeah, you'll just one turn for those chariots. So we'll get those ones in first, the Amazonians. We'll get some retraining. And hopefully these young lads have picked up some more traits and some more retinue. And then we can send all those pagans off to the north. And they can hopefully turn things around for us. That is excellent news. So, um, I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. Oh, I wish the Sarmatians are... When we're at war with these guys. I was going to say, I wish we were still allied and we pull them into a fight over here. Fine, I think what we need to do here is have a big chunky battle to finish off the day. We're going to lose, but we're going to see how much damage we can do because it seems like a fun idea just to, you know, throw away pointless lives. So we're going to get general, we're going to get ballista chariots, and we're going to see how much shredding of the Romans we can cause in a little bit of future time. So let's just uh, let's just do that for the time being. We've got some pagan generals here. We can just send them with our chariots forward. Chariot armies are going to be the way forward. So, can we get them anywhere else, our ballista friends? No, we can't. So we'll have to get them from where we can. Fine, we'll go for one stupid battle to finish us off here. Um, actually, we did have set up one to go and do. I'm pretty certain we can just walk in here. I'm not too concerned about the ultra resolve. So we'll just take that one, burn that to the ground as well. And it's not very happy. We'll build them, yeah, some happy things first. And uh, they need all of this stuff, really, don't they? They need all of that stuff, so we'll retrain. I'm not too worried about pushing up to these two in the immediate future, but we will just take a closer eye at what's going on in that part of the world. Obviously, up here, yes, we probably just want to get a little bit more. Actually, do we? I wouldn't mind taking on some of this, but I would rather do that next time because let's focus on that then. All right, let's do one, do one stupid battle here at Mediolanum and we'll go from there. Do they have... We don't have night attack. That's a shame, sir. That is a shame. Let's see how much damage we can do. This is an interesting battle. Now, the first army, while quite sizable, is full of... Um, well, a few mercenaries for one, but also just an awful lot of damaged and low morale units that we might just be able to you know, get to route pretty quickly. So we'll see what we can do about this. But one of the rare times ever, by the way, we actually have ourselves a front line of some actual infantry. There's only four units here, but it is something. We've got the Amazonian infantry behind as a second rank. So actually, we have about eight units of infantry here. Very nice. Some noble female archers and proper long range archers over here. Excellent stuff. And actually, quite a lot of my units have combat bonus in the snow. And that is very, very good to note because we will be taking on these Roman forces in the snow. It might just give us an edge. We shall see about that. So. You, yes, go and take them on. Uh, get Deal with the equities, but get running if at all possible. Their cavalry are all running at us at this stage. So get the headhunting maidens out to go and chop them. You go and deal with them. Yes, the missiles are ripping them to shreds now. That's what you want to see. Okay, everyone, this side of the battlefield. Once again, I'm just going to get people lined up over there. That's a route. That's what you want to see. Headhunting maidens are a little bit outnumbered at this point, but... Hey-ho, that's fine. They'll do a good job chunking through all of that by themselves. Uh, these, yeah, 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 get, get them in, get them in, get them in. They are piling straight on in at us, aren't they? This is interesting. We're very aggressive. So, Fudarati, let's get these two cav back here. That'll be absolutely fine. I think we might just get the mass route here with the cavalry charge. Yeah, I think we are getting the mass route over on that plane. That's absolutely excellent. Okay, over at the front. Let's see what we got. We got Screeching Paula. She's already screeching. Well done, my girl. Um, you need to. We need these two units just to hold. They're not the greatest units in the world, but hopefully they exist. Um, they've got a route over there. You hit those veterinary as well. Chariots. 
just need to kind of pile into whatever they can back here. You hit those peasants. You, yeah, into those committed tenses, if at all possible. Okay, so very nice there. Summation auxilia of rail team. So pretty much those headhunters have killed that entire set of cavalry by themselves, which is perfect. Now you've got the opportunity to do a little bit more. Mostly golden band. Okay, horse archers can continue horse archering at this stage. We do want them back onto skirmish. So, skirmish and headhunters, you head into those veterinary. That'll be perfect. Okay, chariots, 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 chariots. chariots. That'd be grand. Okay, you get yourselves in here. They are into that unit of five committed tenses. That's the route. That's the route we're looking for. Okay, re wanted this to be as clean as possible at the start, and it absolutely is. Down he goes to a flurry of spears. And that's some Foderati who just need to be finished. Oh no, my whole entire formation's giving up on formationing. Okay. Okay, I might have clicked on too many units there. Anyway, it's all absolutely fine. Let's just. Just get everyone together a moment and maybe just re-up the formation. Uh, let's just get the main line into some kind of a position. So you do that, but actually all Cav, all Cav can kind of be doing something right now, such as let's just get on top of those Foderati over there, make sure we are doing something with the Cav. Uh, they'll probably break because everyone else has already basically left the battlefield. Uh, you'd hope so. Come on, chariots. Break, 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 break. Wow, oh, they're really fighting. Shouldn't be fighting. There they go. Okay, so it's a hunt with the first army, which is just what we want. General, you can deal with them because I want you back in the lines. Everyone else, apart from Mr. General here, get yourself over there and mop up those reinforcements ASAP. I just want to deal with these guys before that main army comes in to clear us off. Okay, Mr. General is dealing with him. That's absolutely fine. Let's get all missiles back on to shoot him, please. That will be magnificent stuff. And they can't be happy about this situation. They're getting themselves surrounded. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, but we'll, we'll pull away just because I actually want to be in range. And we are in range of the long range, but not quite the Amazon infantry yet, who actually aren't as good as archer as the, uh, yeah, the female, uh, the noble female archers. That's fine. Right, pull these into position. They are getting shredded. We have a lot of missiles here and they can't be very happy about this scenario. So I tell you what, I'm gonna get the axe and the spears back in the line. Let's get you just to go mop those up and we'll get the horse archers to just shoot those Foderati because that should hopefully be all we need just to clear them. And we'll hopefully give everyone else a bit of a rest, a bit of a calmer moment before the main bit of the next part of battle arrives. Okay, that seems good to me. All missiles. Can we stop right about now, I would say. That would be absolutely perfect. No more shooting, please. Don't want to shoot down my own troops. Palatina. And they're out here as well. Okay, that's kind of perfect. You need to just pull out of that. They have Moorish mercenaries. Okay, that's interesting. It's headhunting maidens again. We've actually got some fresh ones we haven't really used very much yet. So we've got a lot of cab on this flank. We're already over on this flank. Let's get them into action, shall we? So headhunting maiden. Headhunting maiden. And horse archers can just do some horse archery. Now they'll be magnificent, ladies. Everyone else, chariots, don't you worry about that. That'll be you know, we'll just we'll just we'll just let one unit shoot them down as they flee. We'll just want that couple of these units shoot at them as they flee so where are we they are yeah that's the cav that's the cav we want get the head hunting maidens in we're a bit tired but honestly i think we can pretty much take out any cav uh, uh mm, a tiredness might cause us problems especially as we've already lost quite a few of our unit here so there's a slight potential for problems there but can we hold out no, I think we've lost too many of that unit already for them to do the job, but... Right, all missiles back on. All missiles back on, they're actually charging a few of theirs forward. Not sure why. There's the bodyguard. I want you three just to do what you want at this point. Why are you charging into this unit? I don't know. Get everyone in there, that'll be fine. Clear them 
out. You go and clear that out. You go and clear those kind of outs. They are. Yeah. <laughs> hunt them down. Hunt them down. Okay, we're going to pull out there. They are charging on in here. This is why you don't really want to leave your cavalry. Uh, the cavalry fighting like that. Okay. Well, we're just going to get chunky into that affair there. Where are my chariots, by the way? They're at the back. Um, send them in. Send them around. Send them around. We're going to have a few problems here, if we're not careful. Um, some Palatina there. I want these three cab, actually, just to pile through. You, over there. There we are, there, breaking. That's some veterinary. You get into position there. You're supposed to be working through that. You get into those committed tenses at the rear. And, ah, Palatina, eh? You can get yourselves torn up by my chariots if you like. You got them in the flank now. Get into those Palatina. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Committed tenses is going to be charged over there by the Axe Cab. Oh, that's doing the job. I did not really expect us to properly shred their army here but it looks like we might end up doing just that I'm very pleased if that is the case okay looks like the chariots have failed to finish off that unit you know, palatina they are pretty darn intense palatina get the general in just to turn the tide i know he's weak to them but it's fine they'll break they're already broken and that is perfect okay they are now officially fleeing get on my cav Run forward at the archers. Everyone else, just do your job. Infantry. Well, I'm surprised this has gone quite so well. Yeah, there's some more Palatina over there. Get on top of them. And we want all of you to just shoot them down if you've still got a shot. They do indeed still have a shot. Get on top of them. Mop them up. We've taken heavy casualties in this battle. But, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near a victory. So, fair enough, everyone. Fair enough, ladies. Excellent work. These headhunting axemen have really shown their worth against a couple of these cavalry units. I mean, even actually that second round, they actually did pull it off. Both of them are still here and still fighting, still part of the unit. They didn't rout. So nice work. We'll do as much chasing as we can. The general is... Oh, he did fall. I, I don't know, actually, if... Actually, it might not have, because that's probably a different general. Because I remember writing one down at the start. I doubt that is any different okay yeah he's just over there sadly he will escape it is a shame but uh we'll mop up whatever we can there's something very little left in this city so uh down they go and yeah that's a pretty darn impressive victory actually i'll take it 2109 guild um they deployed twice as much as me and all right it's a fairly decent army to be fair but um I'm, I'm quite pleased. And thankfully, there is no crash at the end of that battle. So with that, we'll put it under siege. Oh, and the gate opened immediately. Fine, Theodosius, you can go down. I burn you to the ground. Okay, Roman turncoat, maybe. Maybe we took him as the lover. Who knows? Who knows if he survived? But Medellanum is down. So, 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 this random captain can go down. You can keep on getting trained. That's nice. He's actually doing quite well. I would say you could have a more um, <laughs> more inconspicuous look to you than that to handle Bartash and uh, that kind of uh, Mohawk ponytail style McChibble you've got going on there. Interesting. Okay, well, I wasn't quite expecting to just take this at the end of this episode, but there we are. We just did. Um... City under our control will get things retrained and uh, all of that kind of nonsense. Get some Indian archers just to man the fort, or I don't know why I said man the fort, but I could just said hold the fort. Woman the fort. We're going to woman the fort. Excellent work. So, with us womaning all the forts going, we are going to continue pushing on. Hatra has fallen. Setapon has fallen. Kotes has fallen. Our taxter will soon be gone as well. Roxanani, our old capital is under siege it's looking awfully sassanid these days and if i'm honest whilst we might not necessarily demolish their whole version of the city i would like to take it back under our control so next time we take back the homeland but for now it's probably a good time to leave it thank you for joining me we will see some new units um we will see about that but i will leave you for now i am thomas this is thomas Seaman. this is the rocks learning humanity campaign thank you and bye bye
Send in the camels. Those shiny, smelly camels. Oh, the anarchy loosed upon the world. Apart from over here where we're, at, we're kind of around to. Stupidity got us into this mess. Stupidity will get us out of it, damn it. We will have a last stand at some point. But it's not today. 